But it all started when I was looking around for an alternative power source for my camera on the internet. I wanted something that would provide about 12 volts and maybe be hand wound or something like that. I started making some drawings and looking in the garage to see what kind of scrap bits and pieces that I could use. And then it's time to start winding. One, two, three, four. That's 100, only 200 more to go. I set to work on a piece of scrap plywood that was about to be thrown out. It looked a bit rough, but hopefully I get something from it. So in go the magnets. In this case there were 16 of them. This old fly mower had seen far better days. But thankfully it had a decent shaft with some bearings on that I could use. And the next stage is to connect it up to the bike. It seems to spin okay. Let's see if we can get a voltage out of it. Hey, that's excellent. So far with everything spinning I've been able to get a voltage of about 2.5 volts just from one coil alone. And that's with all 16 magnets. I do need to work out how to hold the coils in properly. And as well as that, would it be useful to put in an iron core or some laminates? We're going to try it out and we're going to connect it up to a 60 watt mains light bulb. Are you ready? Yep. Are you looking at the light bulb? Yep. I'd say that was successful. What do you think?